Hello, and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 6th grade concept of determining the validity of equations and inequalities. This is standard 6.10b in the great state of Texas, and we are using item number 22 off the 2018 released STAR test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and then we will look at our answers together. So we have four equations here, and we just need to see which one has a solution of k equals 6.5. So there's two different ways that we can do this. The first way we're going to do this is we're just going to use substitution. So we are going to substitute 6.5 into each of those equations, and we'll see if we get correct answer here. So let's start with this negative 3k. I'm just going to put a 6.5 in there. This is our f answer here equals 16, 19.5. And so we need to multiply uh, negative 3, 6.5. We're just going to ignore the negative. We're going to ignore the decimal right now. We're just going to pretend it's 65 times 3, 15. That's 18. That's 19. Now we need to make uh, one digit behind the decimal in the product because there's one digit behind the decimal in the factor. And we have a negative times a positive, which makes a negative. So that could be it. I mean, that looks like F looks like our answer right away. Let's see what happens if we try it with G. Negative 1 plus 6.5 equals 7.5. Now, if we take the, the 6.5 plus negative 1, it's the same thing as minus 1. So a plus and then a negative, right, that just makes a negative. So plus negative 1 just makes a negative. So it's really going to be 5.5. .5. So this is 5.5. .5. Not going to work. So let's try this negative 7 times 6.5 equals 45.5. There's another multiplication. Let's try that again. We're going to do 6.5 times, and we got this negative 7. And once again, we're going to just ignore the decimal, ignore the decimal, uh, the negative, make it look like 65 times 7. So that's 35. And this is going to be 42, 43, 44, 45. So that's 45, 5. Put a decimal there. And put a negative there because it's a negative times positive. Negative 45, 5. Negative 45, 5. Well, that looks like it works. Well, that's going to be a problem because I thought F worked. Let's eliminate J. We'll go back to see where I made the mistake. So J is negative 2 plus 6.5. Now it's the same problem as we did with g. They're not really quite understanding the negative and the positive. So we've got 6.5. And remember this plus negative 2 here, that's going to be like a minus 2. So it's really 4.5 is what that is. So that doesn't work. So let's go back and take a look. And did you catch it? Did you notice that I really wasn't paying attention to this negative here? I've got a negative times a positive. So guess what a negative times the neg a positive should be? It should be a negative. So my answer here is negative 19.5, which is what I got. But take a look at my solution. They said positive 19.5. That's why it doesn't work. So our answer is going to be h. The other way we could have done this is we could have isolated the variable. Negative 7k, 45.5. So we got to think, how can we get this k by itself? Well, it's being held on by a times negative 7. So the opposite of that is dividing by negative 7. We have to balance the equation here. So we divide both sides by negative 7. That isolates that. And guess what you get if you divide negative 45 5 divided by negative 7, you get this 6.5. Answer is H.